Alright then, so hello everyone and welcome back to Brave New World Blindfolded. So, uh, in this episode I'm going to be taking on the IAF and just because I'm on the airship I'm not going to be opening my eyes for that. I, I'm just, as soon as I start, uh, like as soon as I choose my party, that's pretty much when I'm going to stop having my eyes open, so. Alright, so here's all my stuff. Black belt so that uh, Celeste can hit them often. There's a lot of physical attacks flying around too, so the counter attacks uh, work out really nicely here. <coughs> Meanwhile, Rum has her brush so, so, so that she can sketch, which is a pretty big help actually. As well as relics that just pretty much set her up as tanky as I can get her, because her defenses won't stack anywhere useful, so I might. So, but shell and safe will still help out. Oh, and her HP sucks too, which doesn't help. Meanwhile, we've also got Setzer with his uh, guard ring and sprint shoes. The sprint shoes, because otherwise he's too slow to heal as effectively as I want him to, so the sprint shoes are kind of important for him. At least until later. And. Shoved Ram on Celeste. I decided that I'm gonna try to make orient Celeste as much towards Vigor as possible because I realized with Terra how much of a hassle it is to deal with the MP. So I'm gonna try and make Celeste as much of a Vigor build as possible. Realm's got Zone Seek because the speed is not gonna benefit with me when I can't keep up with my characters anyway. Especially not on, like a character like Realm. And I'm shoving Seraph on Setzer to make him a little bit tankier for this part of the game because I. Uh, a small HP bonus right now is really going to help out right now, more so than the magic will. It'll switch around eventually, but yeah, going to roll with that. Alright, so last thing that's kind of important to mention, my party order is actually kind of important here, because, well first of all, I've kind of remembering the characters in a specific order. If I get them out of order, that's just gonna throw me off. But even beyond that, there's a good reason for my party order. I want uh, Setzer and Realm facing the left side of the screen at the start of the battles because there's two enemies there most of the time. The left side's always equal to or uh, greater than danger to the right side, so I want them facing the left so that they have a chance to block and uh, higher defenses against the left side of the screen. Which means I kind of have to leave Celeste facing the other direction, which isn't good, but it'll have to do. So anyway, uh, let's get started. Well, actually no. Let's not get started. I think I'll just save that little spiel. I, I'm gonna stop the recording there so that I can save that and just start here every single time. Alright then, so let's go. So yeah, skip through the di lines of dialogue at the start. Alright, so Celeste is on player 1 noise, the other two are on player 2 noise. It's important to know. Alright, so let's see who comes up first and then decide how I want to play it. Someone got missiled. Someone else got missiled. Well, I could be in some serious doggy doo doo right now. Alright. Alright, Celeste. I don't think Celeste made it. So this is gonna get bad. Uh. Yeah, they could very easily pick off my characters. This is probably the biggest danger here is uh, Celeste getting offed in two seconds. Well, that's not doing any good. So it's just too slow to keep up with the healing perfectly, I think, so... There's a very good chance one of them's going to get off any second now. And I haven't done any damage, so yeah, this is probably looking like a bust. Eh, well, something happened anyway. 
Best case scenario is that the, all three characters survive the first fight, because then they'll all gain a level and make the subsequent fights easier. Oh, there's a... Uh, the, the one on the right is dead. Uh, they're all dead. Everything's dead. Okay. Oh yeah, right. I showed you my equipment. Okay, so skills, item, save. Well, not exactly a wonderful first battle, but hey, I'm not dead. Alright, so, so uh, Realm and Setzer are already set up, which is good. I'm most likely to get the first turn anyway. Oh no, it's a pincer attack, what'll I do? One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. I'm kind of remembering the menu in threes almost, when I can. I, I've got bigger Celeste here. But I might as well use her as a mage here for some bits. It'll help out a tad. Frying the uh, guy on the side with the bolt too actually seems to help out somewhat. Actually, maybe I should fry the bottom one on the left side. Am I still in a menu? What am I? Oh, crud. Well, that's not good. I mixed up the noise. Mess that up all over the place. Thankfully, I know Setzer should be the next to come up. Oh, unless Realm's dead, in which case he's this one to come up. So I think I just wasted another item, or just wasted his turn. Okay, never mind. This must be Realm. Is for magic. Sketch. Okay. Well, I might as well keep attacking at this point. I hit the run on the right with a tech laser. This isn't going particularly well. That sets her anyway. Hopefully he used Legomorph. Yeah, there we go. Where's the Legomorph I'm looking for? For some reason, I was like, Edgar, just use drill. Oh, wait, that can't be a thing. I think I just attacked the one on the right twice. Realm is... Now I'm pretty sure Realm is dead. So yeah, now whole day for hopefully the win. Missile can't have killed Celeste. So, she's still up and running. Nice proc. All right. Best case scenario is actually that... In terms of EXP, everyone has to survive one battle to get the first level. And I don't. There's a good chance that nobody will gain a second level if we go the communist route and share all the EXP equally. So hopefully, uh. Somebody ends up getting shafted on the EXP because they're dead. And the other two people actually gain an extra level because of that. At the moment, it's looking like Setzer's going to gain a level nobody else is, and Setzer's also the most likely not to die, so... Right. It's not going well, but again, it could be going worse. So, that's it for that for now. Now, I've got to get my noises right this time. Get thrown off sometimes. Alright, 
One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, bolt two. Fry that thing. Oh yeah, I was gonna do something different. Well, it, I kinda can't do that now. And I think Setzer might be on the wrong controller slot. Maybe, unless I'm just... I kind of cover up some of the sounds with my own voice sometimes, and it really doesn't help out. Well, that wasn't Realm, so... Well, that person probably just died. Yeah, so this is definitely not on the wrong noise. What am I thinking? Uh, I don't want to use any more magic with you. Oh, wow. That was probably a good thing, because it fries that guy. Last we knock off that guy real quick, and... Yeah, as long as everyone doesn't die of seizure. Well, I'm still alive. It's possible that whoever got hit by the missile was uh, missed by Fireball. But now it's starting to look more like the person who got hit by missile and Fireball was Setzer. But that's okay, because that battle has just been completed, and now we're going the communist route again, so it's not very good. Dried meat, Phoenix down. Yeah, the point is, it's very easy for one character to die, but I'm kind of hoping that not everybody's going to die. Alright, that was battle three. I've still only used one Bolt 2 spell, because... Sus is busy not using Bolt 2 spells a lot. There you go, listen. Oh well. Okay, that's the last. Okay, you're already on Bolt 2. Let's send it down at you this time. Let's slot it up. Unfortunately, Trifecta is in the natural place for me to press the button. If I wait any longer, I don't get anything out of it anyway, so... I don't get any consistency out of it, so... It's hard to manipulate a non-Trifecta value. Even if I mash it as fast as possible, the fact that I have to move the cursor down of its realm's turn throws that off. I think that... The other guy might be dead, so let's sketch him, because he's more likely to give me a missile, I think. Just judging from the... Okay. There's my Celeste. There's the Solitaire. Now, hopefully the guy on the right will die. Huh, he didn't... Oh, well, he died. The guy on the left died. That's... We'll, we'll go with that. Did they nail me with a fireball yet? I think they did, so... Well, that guy must have died of seizure, because he sure didn't die of the missile. The seizure is helpful if it's applied early. The seizure is not very helpful if it's not applied early. Nobody died. Oh man, lots of dried meats this time around. Phoenix down, tincture... Wait, that's eye drops. That's not gonna help. Phoenix down, eye drops, tincture. Okay, so I think that's battle four. the face. Alright, someone could easily have died there. Alright, the guy on the right is, uh, took quite a bit of damage from that missile, so I'll finish him off with this bolt too. Thank goodness for stereo audio, it's this one case where it really, really helps. Instead of just being a minor convenience or a way to identify when I got a back attack. Which generally doesn't help much anyway, as I've noticed. 
Uh, well, it was going okay until that fireball. Now things are back in the tubes. Whatever that expression is supposed to mean. I'm not even 100% sure that counts as an expression, but... You know you with my electric thing, but it doesn't matter anyway, because you're dead from a solitaire. Wow, his sister sure likes the solitaire a lot. I swear with my eyes closed I tend to be getting more of those. No counterattack. Alright, people, where are you? There we are. I guess my timing just seems a little bit more inclined to the... Whoa. Was that a carbuncle? It doesn't help, but... I think I got a carbuncle. Meanwhile, everyone's dying of shoes or so. That's kind of a waste, but now you should be dead after Sless attacks. I think that thing's been hit by two missiles already. Alright, so is that four or five? I can't remember. It's not important that I keep track of the numbers, as long as I keep track of Sless's MP. Oh yeah, gotta check. Nope, nobody died. Which again, could really be a bad thing, because if nobody gains the level before the uh, next encounters, that's not good. If Realm gains, gains the level, it's great, because it gives her a fighting chance to survive Gigavolt sometimes. If uh, Celeste gains the level, that's great, because more damage output against uh, Ultros and Chupon, which I guess isn't that important, but... Whatever. And if Sensor gains a level, it's great, because I need to worry less about him during the ensuing fights, but if nobody gains a level, it's a disaster. Okay, maybe that's overblowing it a little, but... I could still die in these fights too, so... These fights aren't shoo-ins. I can very easily die if things go wrong, but... Particu oops. Particularly if Celeste gets owned in like two seconds flat. Uh, who are you? Fireball right away, that's okay. This is a good idea, because it turns her around and allows her to face the left side for whatever that's worth. Alright, now with the seizure, yes. Alright, you sketch the left side. I got fireball, that is not good. But I think I got a Lego morph already, so... Thankfully, the quintessential thing that could go wrong with sets of slots, Crusader showing up, doesn't make much of a difference in Brave New World. Ooh, nice proc. So, I don't need to worry so heavily about that. I think I've gotten like three of these guys in every single encounter so far. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I have. Where's my people? There's my people. Where's my realm, though? I think realm might be dead. That's actually okay. That's not actually okay. Alright. Oh, his sensor dead now, too. You guys are, like, throwing all the curveballs. Oh, well. The thing about the last enemy is that the last enemy alone is simply unlikely to take down Celeste with her region, so... Once I get down to the last guy, it's not too big a deal. And I can guess that Celeste didn't die by the fact that, you know, I'm not dead completely. Alright, so, uh... Let's throw a tincture at Celeste. This might be the last fight. I think this is the last fight. Then again, I lost track of count already, so I can't really rely on that. Oh. Am I done? 
Well, that works too. Now let's try not to mess up the equipment segment. That would not be good. It would probably hose me entirely, I'm pretty sure. Depending on exactly what got messed up. If Sless ends up with it or Zephyr Cape, I think I can probably make it through. But some things are not good. So. Alright, so skills, equip, relic. Oh yeah, I wanted to uh, go into my item menu to double check that I'm centered on Celeste. Skills, equip, relic. <coughs> Alright, so selected Celeste, equip, top thing, all the way to the bottom to the power glove. Uh, the black belt doesn't help much against Ultros compared to uh, before. Because I don't, I really, really don't want to get into a counter-attack chain, for one. That would be bad. And for two, I... Uh, let's exit out, because I forget where I am. Oh no, that's not good. Uh, I'm not sure where my cursor is in that relic menu now. I don't know if it memories this or not. It's not good. I've never really had to... Well, the more important thing, I guess, is the wall ring. One, two. If she ends up with the life bell instead of uh, the power glove, it's not going to be a disaster. But yeah, Power Glove is more useful than Black Belt here because I really don't want to start a counter-attack chain because that could easily result in Celeste dying and removing all my buffs. And the second reason is that uh, I don't need to worry about my hit rate very much against these guys provided I keep off of blind status. Relic, down to Setzer. Equip, top slot. Two down to the wall ring, bottom slot. One down to that thing. Okay. And Celeste isn't my main damage output against the next guy, so I'm okay. Equip that thing. Uh, what am I doing? R1, down two. Unless I suppose if uh, de equipping the wrong thing messed around with all of uh, Celeste's other cred. But we'll just hope I did it correctly. Oh yeah, knew there was something I was forgetting. Equip, skills, item, save, config. Shove sets his controller slot to player one, so that I can have Realm on her own nifty little controller slot there. Which may or may not make the IAS fight slightly harder. You know, that may not even be a good idea, but... You know, whatever. Just shove that turn away. Okay, so this is either Setzer on slot or Celeste on something else. This is Celeste on something else. Alright, so let's set up Celeste here. And did I forget to tincture Celeste? I think I forgot to tincture Celeste. Well, that'll leave one of Realm's turns, I suppose. But for now, I'm not exactly debilitated right away. Haste you. In fact, uh, Celeste takes a while to run out of MP here, so... Meanwhile... Oh yeah, right. So let's uh, hold right here. Now, I'm definitely on the right side. I've made it to the top. This is here too. Scroll down to the region. And now let's apply it to Celeste. So Celeste has been regioned and hasted now. Alright then. So you attack yourself again because Celeste just got healed by the region spell. Something happened. What the? Okay, Celeste got hit by Tentacle, Sets it locked, and then uh, Realm got hit by Tentacle. 
Discluding misses, I suppose. Now, uh, this should be Celeste's turn because there's no way Seth's her pet pastor. Alright. Hey, Seth's her. Oh, wait. No. That must have been Realm's brush. Okay, that's gonna complicate things. I can't tell who's Realm and who's uh, Ultros. Region. I'll region Realm. That's Realm, so heal Celeste. For a second, I thought someone blocked region. That would have been what? That would have been a WTF moment. Haste. So. One, two, three. That lines me up with something or other. But the important thing is, safe is now on the left. You region yourself, which you have just enough MP for. Yeah, that was Realm. That, yeah. So that's the thing. Alright, so this is, uh, Celeste. Safe. On Realm. Hit Celeste. That. Oh. Oh wow. Did, is, does someone have the reflect ring? If someone has the reflect ring, then I equipped everybody wrong and I'm pretty much gonna die. Well, that's not good. I think Setzer might. Yeah, I think Setzer might have the reflect ring. So yeah, that means all my equipment is hosed. That's not good. Alright. So this is Celeste, I presume. Thanks, Celeste ran out of MP. Or, oh wait, is this Setzer? That tells me nothing. Well, that tells me something. Guess and check. Always the most viable alternative when you're in trouble. But at this point, I already think I'm about to get owned, so... Right, one, up, two. And that puts me on slow. I've pretty much done my buffing for whatever that, that's worth. And watch, slow probably missed. Target Celeste. I'm gonna probably w worry a little bit less about Realm now. Two down. Safe, and then Berserk is one down. I've kinda gotta keep like a mind map in my head. Now let's Berserk Celeste. Yeah, I need a lot of uh, methods of healing in this fight. Realm's Brush is hard to target reliably against the right person. Sensor's healing is, uh... inconsistent, because it's slots. And Region is not good enough on its own, so... Yeah, I pretty much just need to throw everything into at the wall and see what sticks. But yeah, I'm, I'm really thinking I'm toast. That's the problem. Realm has her wall ring, and the Zephyr Cape isn't too important. I have no idea what she ended up with. I could have some unexpected effects, I suppose. But if Setsu didn't get his wall ring, that's kind of bad. He is the tankiest member of my party, thankfully. 
so it's not a complete disaster, but... The other thing was the stat stick, which will make him even slower. Who got hit with that? Who got hit with the ink, I, s I suppose if I hear Celeste missing... Yeah, I heard Celeste miss, okay. Let's assume she needs an eye drop. Thankfully, I bought some eye drops so that I wouldn't end up removing my Berserk with the Remedies when I use the Remedies. So let's... I drop her face. Watch, she probably just missed it of pure luck and that was a waste of time. Solitaire! Yeah! Setzer got inked. Oh no, you blinded Setzer, my healer slash magical attacker. What will I ever do? I think my entire run is uh, null and void at this point. Uh, she got inked again, that's sad. <coughs> Solitaire again. It's also kind of sad. I was already on the eye drops, why did I do that? Select the eye drops, and unfortunately, I get no indicator of whether this battle is remotely winnable in this phase because Ultros really, really sucks in this phase. Alone, he can't do uh, anything to threaten me. Wow, it's like a whole ton of stuff. Well, that'll shorten the fight anyway. I didn't do anything wasteful. Setsu just keeps winning the slots there. Well, Celestia didn't die in that interval of time. I thought I was truly expecting it. If anything's gonna go so it's gonna happen when the Chupon comes out. When Chupon comes out, runs go all the way down to America, or maybe even Mexico sometimes. You never know. Fry that octopus. We'll make a pretty tasty dinner, and boy, this takes forever. It helps that Celeste almost certainly doesn't have the power glove equipped. And I, of course, have no idea what she does have equipped. Sets oh wow, Sensor having Reflect is not going to help at all. Why did he have to end up with the Reflect Ring, of all things, for the next fight? Because I'm going to have to rely on the inconsistent slots and therefore a great deal of luck, even... I... My original plan was, uh... You know, go ahead and... Use Cure 2 during that fight, because I don't need the consist... I don't need the conservatism, but I do need the consistency, but... With Cesar not getting healed by his own crud there, that's not going to work out the best. Uh, what am I doing? This is all mechanical. I don't need to think, I just need to act. Act and hit people with paintbrushes. It's always part of the solution to most things, whacking people with paintbrushes. You know, having trouble with the physics exam, the thing is, you just gotta go whack the professor with a paintbrush and everything will turn out just okay. <coughs> More solitaire. Sets is sure winning the slots a lot. It's not making the battle any shorter, though, because Chupon still hasn't come out yet. Thank goodness the realm happened to be equipped with her wall ring beforehand. Or, this would likely end up as a disaster very quickly. As it is, it's still bad. But, if it just so happens to work, I can't really complain. Celeste with her, uh, whoopsie. 
Celeste with her power glove can hit for over a thousand damage on Ultros with the actual whack. She hasn't been proccing much either, but that helps more against Chupon, who takes about double the damage of the Ultros from the proc. But the Power Glove is more important against Ultros, who takes a slightly more damage than Chupon. I lose about 250, 300-ish damage against Ultros, but I only lose about 200, 250 damage against uh, Chupon, which I suppose isn't all that great a difference, but... Thankfully, Trifecta now still makes... Uh, no, it doesn't. Ultros is floating in this case, I forgot. Floating Octopus, because, because... Thankfully, El Nino's pretty bad with Shell all over the place, and... <coughs> stuff like that being... a thing. Uh, by stuff like that, I obviously mean the gold and... Gator hide having the damage. His physical attack is annoying, and so is Realm's paintbrush because they both sound like tentacle. It's really kind of irritating. Because I get scared every time it comes up, even though there's no real disadvantage to it coming up. I believe we have a Chupon. Her attack should be doing 500 damage, at least, and uh, probably more like 600, and the proc should do a thousand. So it'll take 20 attacks essentially. Well, that just reverses tentacle, which is good. 20 attacks essentially, and every proc subtracts two. Perhaps it's 19 attacks. Of course, if Setzer starts scoring winning rolls, I suppose that will throw off my count entirely, but... Setzer doesn't appear to have scored any of those yet. Oh, stop that, mister, you. That's pretty impolite of you, I must say. This would probably not be the best time to score a winning roll. Oh man, lots of tentacles. So let's block it this time. Let's have Realm heal herself. Oh no. If Realm died, this is gonna go sour quickly, I think. Man, can you stop with the tentacle? Holy cow. Yeah, this isn't going well at all now. Use Tentacle like three turns in a row. Oh, and there's a Wind Slash. I'd try to heal Realm, but I desperately need the healing anyway. It says it's still alive, but the question is, is Celeste? Well, the question just got answered. I mean, oh yeah, snorts that kind of noise, I forgot. Oh man, lots of tentacle. So this could die at any moment, especially with only two people in the field. And I don't think Setzer can keep up with that healing easily at all. really at the mercy of the RNG at this point. Especially since I don't have my Power Glove equipped, so I'm not doing as much damage as I should. I would really like some procs, but I don't have the Mystery Veil equipped. Mm -hmm. 
Still, I haven't gotten any procs yet, which isn't good. Anytime that hits front row Celeste, the snort move, I mean. She ends up taking a lot of damage, so... She can very easily die. I'm pretty much hanging on with a thread at every single turn, as far as I can tell. The good news is I get a heal before the IAF, so he's still theoretically possible if, uh... Oh, there's a solitaire. What? That's, that's realm. What's going on? No wait, never mind. I can't. Somebody else got equipped the Zephyr Cape. Okay, that makes sense. That does nothing to help or hurt me then. But it does signify that Celeste was at really low HP. Or Setzer. Celeste isn't dead. Unless she died from that. But... Setzer, no, I think she might have died. Yeah, this is gonna go down the tubes unless if Chupon gets one hit KO'd by some. Nope, never mind, Celeste isn't dead. Jump the gun there. She was just being slow. I can't fault her for taking a while to do stuff sometimes. Obviously, I do the same thing all the time. Just like with schoolwork. Actually, I'm joking. I kinda go overboard with schoolwork sometimes, but. Yeah. Besides the point. You sneezed me! How could you be so rude, Chupon? You got your, uh, ooey gooey blah all over me. Alright, this is Realm. Alright, and this is also bad because I need Sensor to. Sensor slots to work out nicely for this to work. That is not good, not good at all. I need a lot of luck here. You are Sensor. You are on your magic command, despite the fact that you're attacking because you preserved yourself. Summon Rama. Okay, that's probably a good thing. Realm is actually a bit of a monster in this fight with Sketch, although I forgot that she wasn't on Sketch to begin with, so I just whacked him with a paintbrush. It's not so good. Especially in such a time-sensitive fight, that was a really harebrained move, but... Alright, so I just set Setzer's command. I can generally guess who's... Oh, uh, you just... Go, go. When did you show up and attack me? You're not allowed to, not allowed to join the fight, go, go. Alright, just the IAF left now. But this is the painful part, because now is when he can use Gigavolt. Oh yeah, Megavolt is reflected! <laughs> you just inflicted himself a seizure. And I just gigavolted him. This reflect ring might be actually kind of handy after all. <laughs> That's just... I think the boss just got trolled by my own incompetence. Oh yeah, right, that was a mistake. Now I don't know which side my cursor's on, so I gotta do the tedious process of this. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Not exactly in the realm of conserving HP right now. Yeah, keep frying yourself, man. That'll work out nicely, for me at least, anyway. Another Gigavolt and... Oh, no, that's not a Gigavolt. He should be on the ropes now. Okay, just, uh, he might have killed whoever he megavolted there. Yeah, I think Celeste might be dead. But so is he, so it doesn't matter. Wow, that, that reflect ring. Such troll, much wow. I have made it to the floating continent, where I would really, really not like a fight before the save point. Because I'm not prepared for it. At all. 
I wasn't even prepared for the fights I was supposed to have. Oh yeah, I'm in the config menu. There's no timer now, though, so... No timer between the fights anyhow. Alright. Did I... I Phoenix down Setzer. Whoa, Setzer was dead at the end there? That is certainly, certainly not a... Well, it was certainly, certainly not a good thing. Oh man, I made it. First try, that was... In 19 different ways, close to being a disaster, but... Let's see what I ended up with. Celeste still had the life bell, which probably helped out during that IAF fight a little. Oh, it was Realm with the Reflect Ring, shoot. For some reason I was convinced Setzer had it. I don't even know why, but for some reason I was. I should have known that Setzer would have had the Zephyr Cape, and apparently he has the utterly random fairy ring there. And Celeste ended up getting her wall ring after all. So... Wall ring plus life bell, that actually made her pretty tanky in the IAF fight. The ultimate irony here is that I may have... My ran completely random re-equipping may have actually been beneficial. <laughs> that That's the chief irony in all this. I think Realm with that reflect ring actually helped a lot more with, than... Realm with the... Uh, Zephyr Cape. Which is actually really... Yeah, Celeste with the Wall Ring and Life Bell made her extremely tanky against the IAF, and Realm with the Reflect Ring made the IAF's Gigavolt impossible to hit her. So yeah, that might have actually ultimately been far better than the setup I was intended to bring to that fight. And Ultras and Chupon still went okay, so... Man. Although kind of, it sort of went kind of okay. That could have also been a disaster, so... Uh, yeah. Save state, and see you next time.